Hi, I'm Mayor Sandy Stimson, coming to you from my office. It's Thursday afternoon, May 14th. Yesterday, during our Unified Command press conference, I had an opportunity to talk about healthy living. You know, there are a lot of in our community who right now are sick from the COVID virus. And most of those that end up with a tragic ending, let's say maybe a premature death, we have found out that it's from an underlying problem. And those underlying problems could be obesity, it could be diabetes, hypertension, some kind of heart problem. You know, those things didn't just happen and then they got the COVID virus. Those lifestyle, or maybe it was inherited in their family, but there are things that occurred over a period of decades to maybe be obese or to have the hypertension and so forth. So my encouragement was maybe to the younger generation to realize that your health is very serious. And it's encouraging today to ride down the streets of Mobile and see everybody walking. They may be walking their dog. They may be pushing a baby stroller. But there are more people out participating in what appears to be healthy living than at any time that I can remember in my lifetime. And it won't be long before we will be coming to you telling you how we're going to reopen our parks. We hope that you'll use those. We hope it'll become part of the things that you do on a daily routine to make sure that you're exercising and that you're dieting properly so that you can take care of yourself. Government is very limited in the things that we can do uh, to improve your health. We're working on those every single day. Uh, the Unified Command, which consists of the county uh, and the county health department and the city, you know, it's at the forefront of our mind. So please know that we're trying to do everything we can to keep you safe, but there's also a major role that you play in it and it has to do with your personal health. I'd like to flip just for a moment. Don't know how many of you may have noticed on the Facebook page what has happened on Airport Boulevard, but we put it up today. And it's a video that we did of, of how the lights have been sequenced on Airport Boulevard. We actually had some fun making it because I didn't think it would happen this way, but I actually started out by McGregor Avenue and went through that green light. And I didn't hit a, a red light until we got all the way to Florida Street, uh, which is amazing. I don't believe that's ever happened to anybody in the city of Mobile uh, prior to us doing this uh, upgrade as part of the CIP program. So I hope that you'll look at that. And we really have our traffic engineering department to thank for that, as well as Councilman jo Joel Daves, who contributed out of the CIP bucket, um, his bucket, to, to do that project. Um, with having said Airport Boulevard, it brings to mind a press release that we put out recently, really thanking the governor. Um, we approached the governor early in the year. Uh, the chairman of the airport authority and ask if you know if, if it'd be possible for them uh, the state you know to give the St. Elmore Airport to uh, the Mobile Airport Authority and so in cooperation with the city uh, the governor has agreed to do that the transfer has been made and so that will be an asset that may not be a game changer here in the next couple of years for our community but in the long term the St. Elmore property will certainly be very meaningful uh, to Mobilians as we go forward. Earlier today, I had an opportunity to, to be on a Bloomberg leadership call, and many of you know that I've participated in uh, Bloomberg Mayor's Leadership Conference a few years ago. And so since the COVID crisis came about, they have, <clears throat> on a scheduled basis, they open the door, I have a Zoom call for mayors to uh, come to participate in uh, hearing lectures by experts in the healthcare field, also in uh, having to do with the psychology of opening back up. And so today, as I looked at the number of mayors that were on the call, and there could have been a couple of situations where it was not a mayor, but there were 600, over 600 of us that were listening to ideas, best practices of how we can do a better job of reopening our communities and protect while doing so, uh, we can protect you. So very informative. There'll be some things that I'll share with the Unified Command, you know, regarding that, which I hope will accrue to the benefit of, of, of all of us. <clears throat> a little while ago, we did a video with uh, Matt Lamont and Luke Peavy, 
who recently kind of have new nicknames. It's Zoom and um, Boom. And they've been doing these video series and it's very lighthearted. And it was done in a spirit of trying to encourage their employees and their customers to how to, how to make it through this crisis. I had an opportunity to look at a couple of the videos and they really are funny and I recommend them. But uh, while they were here and prior to them walking out, I was thinking about, you know, what are the things that, that when we wake up every day that inspire us to uh, do more than what we're typically doing, that we step outside maybe what our job description is. And the bottom line of it is, is that we're all put here for a reason. I mean, God put us here to do certain things at certain points in times, and typically it's to do something to help somebody else, to give them a hand up. And I shared that thought with Cam Marston at the end of his uh, daily call. And, and so I'm really tremendously grateful to be in the position that I'm in at this point in time because I've seen so much uh, and learned so much. But also, I hope that what we've really learned is that we need to take advantage of the crisis, and that is to reach out to our fellow man and help them because we will pull through this just like we did 9-11, just like we did the BP oil spill, Katrina, go way back, Frederick, you name it, we've done it. You'll do it again. And so you can just count on the administration to be with you there every step of the way, trying to get hurdles and roadblocks out of your way so that you can do the things to grow your business, to improve your family, to improve your health. So thank you for enjoying me this afternoon.